That didn't take you long? Yeah, bro, I just Jeez. wanted to see that and I'm not going to talk too long now cool. because uh, it really is, it is something, something very special. Very special. I'd love for you to share that and you know, have your first live experience with a live birth. So cool. have fun. Thank enjoy you very it, much. Guys. That's very kind of you. As I said, it's got that, that laugh thing going on. <laughs> you can enjoy it. Enthusiasm is a fantastic thing. So, Would you mind uh, having grab that for you? Thanks. Okay, great feet. Uh, this can you stay in here. It's just my backpack. It's got you know, first aid kits and things like that. Okay. So, that's it. Cool, thanks, All buddy. Right. VM, enjoy. Uh, VM can also help you, but it's, if you go across quarantine cool. and then towards that bright side, you cut down and you'll see me. She was on her own. Uh, there was a little too much mind. She was starting to lie down in front of it. So okay, towards cool. the bright side, down to the right. She's pretty relaxed, but I'm talking too much. Enjoy it. Cool, I'm going to be listening thanks. to you this side and uh, see you later. Cool. Hi, everyone. Sorry to take you away from the second wildebeest, uh, wildebeest that's about to give birth but we will be back there shortly just testing okay copy thanks well should we carry on straight and then left okay Sorry folks, you'll have to excuse me. I've only been here. This is the start of my third day. So I have yet to familiarize myself with the with the road network and where everything is. But thankfully Viam will help me with that for today. I couldn't believe my eyes that this morning I shot out of the control room for 10 minutes to make some coffee for the rest of the team and I came back to see that Peter had found the, the wildebeest and one had already given birth just in that short time frame. And like Peter did mention, you can spend years and years guiding and not see something special like this. And I know I speak for myself, I've yet to see a wildebeest give birth in the six years that I've been in this industry. So it is important to remember how, how lucky it is to see something like that, especially live. To all the welcome tweets, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. We have found the wildebeest. I'm just going to approach very slowly and establish which angle will be the best for us and also for the wildebeest. We, we wouldn't want to obviously create any disturbance to them. Onya, um, sorry I've yet to say much about myself. Um, Due to the circumstances, the very favourable circumstances we found ourselves in this morning, um, but to give you to give you a, a brief summary of my guiding career, I I started in the industry in the beginning of 2008 within the Sabi Sands, um, but further south in the reserve relative to where we are now, and there I trained and, and became a guide. Uh, worked there for four years which was an incredible introduction to, to the guiding industry. The Sabi Sands as a whole is a, is a really spectacular wilderness destination and the lodges within it tend to really deliver a, a high, high level of guiding. So to be fortunate enough to start in the Sabi Sands um, 
I'm, I'm very grateful for. And after a few years here in the Saudi Sands, I decided to sp spread my wings and headed up to East Africa, where I've spent the last few years, um, where I did a combination of private guiding all, all over Kenya, as well as camp management and a bit of guide training, which took me into some some parts of Tanzania as well. So uh, I really enjoyed my time in East Africa and it's got some incredible wilderness destinations. So I, I do intend on spending more time up there, but it was time to come home. And now I find myself with Wild Air. So that's kind of a brief summary. If you have any more questions or anything else you would like to know, please fire away.